very good morning students uh, today we are going to discuss about five thumb rules for grouping in kmap especially for sop you know already sop grouping is nothing but grouping of ones so it has five rules uh, let's discuss about five rules first rule is adjacent ones so we have to group the adjacent ones and second rule all corner or adjacent corner either we can group the corner ones or corner at the adjacent ones then third rule is ones in the edges um, this is very very important rule the most of the students will miss these uh, ones in the edges this uh, whenever ones are available at the edges we have to see the opposite edge this is very important key point here and then we can utilize already grouped ones also oh, that few of not everything only few of the grouped ones if it helps to form a maximal grouping we can use it then the final one is don't cats we can utilize don't cats if they help you to form maximal grouping we can utilize it okay let us discuss with uh, some example uh, so that we clear, uh, clearly understand all those things okay so here i am going to take an a uh, four variable k map so that will be helpful for you to understand either it is a two variable or three variable or five variable anything okay now uh, see here we are having all the five rules i have given here and i have taken a four variable k map where all the four ones are adjacent here so uh, can we apply the adjacent ones here so we are having all the adjacent ones so i can make it as a single group okay so i can call this as a quad so generally our aim is to uh, get the maximal grouping because the maximal grouping only gives us the minimum number of variables then suppose ones are at the corners like this um, you, usually students will see only the ungrouped ones but it is necessary to see all the corner ones because all the corners are having the ones so this applies the second rule as well as the uh, fourth rule okay so see here we can use all the four corners again it forms a quad correct uh, so this combines the rules of the first uh, second one and few of the already grouped ones also okay so now um, we can have the another thing so that you will understand here see here now these ones are at the edges now it is not possible for us to form the quad now the remaining two corners are not having the ones so we can make only a pair not a quad okay this is called only adjacent corner we should not go for opposite corner only adjacent corner okay so this is nothing but the second rule okay now we'll go for the third rule which is very very important where many students miss here okay so now here we are having the ones at the edges uh, whenever uh, students see ones at the edges no they started uh, um, pairing it as pair correct so but it is wrong our aim in kmap is to reduce the number of variables so what they have to do whenever they see ones at the edges they should have the double check whether the ones at the edges opposite edges or not so we can utilize the opposite edge so that we can make it as a a uh, quad correct so generally no grouping we are having octet uh, quad and then uh, pair and then single correct so suppose see here now we are having two ones here so on seeing this many students will form a pair but it's wrong so what you have to do we have to see the opposite edge uh, which is already grouped one but it helps to form a maximal grouping correct so that's what the fourth one few of the already grouped ones helps you we can utilize it here the cells 9 and 11 no that helps you to form the maximal grouping what what is that a quad so we can make it as a quad now correct so for example see here octet we are having octet octet is nothing but uh, grouping eight cells correct and then this is our the maximum uh, when you take a four variable came up our aim is to uh, maximum grouping correct in that whether we have to um, possible to form the octet or quad or pair or single correct octet is 
grouping of eight cells quad is grouping of four cells pair is grouping of two cell and single is if nothing is possible then we'll be grouping single correct quad gives you generally one variable minimal correct so the quad group give you, gives you two variable pair group gives you three variable a single grouping gives you four variable okay uh, so that's very uh, uh, basic thing okay so if it is uh, if it is in the case of uh, three vari uh, three variable came up no the single gives you three variable so it goes on like that so we can understand if you learn four variable came up uh, that will be very easy to go for any uh, maps okay either it's a two variable three variable or uh, four or five okay see here now we can form a quad based on this now uh, i'll take uh, this four variable came up for your understanding better understanding okay how the don't care helps you correct if you use the adjacent ones only then you will get only quad only now see don't care helps you to form the octet correct so here this is the fifth rule if don't care helps you you can utilize it to ma to get a maximal grouping correct so octet is our maximal grouping so don't care helps you to form the octet so we can utilize it then see here another one um, here we, students many students form the pair on seeing the adjacent one so it's wrong correct again see here the uh, rules adjacent ones and then a uh, few of the already grouped ones and don't care the three rules are combined here this helps you to form the octet correct and don't bother about the don't care our aim is to form only the uh, or group the only ones correct in sop in the in case of uh, pos our aim is to group zeros okay so don't bother about don't care which are left out okay thanks for watching